we have come to Universal City Walk for something to eat um, because our car is getting fixed at the dealership. Um, probably not a good decision, it's absolutely packed and as you can see there's lots of people everywhere but we're hoping to find a little spot to have something to eat and just people watch. Just the movie theatre there. And here's the main bit when you walk in. There's shops, restaurants, Starbucks on the left. And you have to walk through here to get to Universal Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios. This is where you can get the water taxi if you're staying in one of the Universal Hotels. You can get a taxi here to Sapphire Falls, Adventure Hotel, uh, Lowe's Royal Pacific Resort, Hard Rock Hotel and the Lowe's Portofino Race Hotel. This is the entrance to Universal Studios. You actually, when you come through City Walk, you turn right, come past the sports bar, and here you go. And it's right next to, you can't miss it, it's right next to the Universal Globe where everyone takes pictures. So we're going to eat at the Toothsome Chocolate Emporium. It's not my favourite place to eat. The food isn't fantastic. Um, maybe because my son told me this was a fabulous place and my expectations were high and it wasn't as good as that. However, it's a nice place to bring the kids and the desserts are phenomenal. They have amazing ice cream, which is why people come here. Um, and also we wanted to come here because we wanted to sit outside and people watch and it's the quietest restaurant at the time of day. At the moment, it's half past 12. So, um, so we're just standing outside waiting. What normally happens is you go in and then they tell you that they'll they have to take a phone number and they'll text you when your table's ready. So we've just come outside to wait. So while we wait for our table, it gives me the opportunity just to do some more filming and show you some more of City Walk. I'm now on the opposite side to where we walked in. So you can see that orange building in the distance and the palm trees and the steps, that's where we, you come in and I am on the Hard Rock Cafe side. Over to the left is the NBC Sports Grill Brew restaurant. Uh, food's really nice there, we have eaten there before. It's very busy at the moment and there was no tables outside so we decided to head over to here. And then of course you have the bridge that heads towards Universal Studios over there. And then just behind me there you can see the Hard Rock Cafe. 
If you're looking to go to Universal Islands of Adventures, then keep your eye out for the plane when you come through City Walk and then you can see the bridge there. So you head over that bridge and there's the tower and then just over there, you can't quite see it, but um, is the gates and the tickets to get into Islands of Adventure. It's actually right next door to Toothsome. theme parks or you're just coming for a night out here or you just want to have a wander around during the day you have to pay for parking and this one's going to drop you off at the guest drop off so it's 25 dollars to park here before six o'clock after six o'clock it's free so if you want to come to the movies or one of the nightclubs which open in the evenings and some of the restaurants which not all of the ones um, off, i'll show you later um, on this tour but there are some restaurants that aren't open until later in the day so if you want to come to those come after 6 p.m and the parking is free Prior to that, it's $25. Um, or you have something called premium parking, which I think that's what it's called, and that's $35. Um, and that just means you have less distance to walk to get here, because it is a bit of a schlep to, uh, to get down to City Hall. The Hard Rock Cafe has a great restaurant, and there's, as you know, as, as with all Hard Rock Cafes, there's mu um, sorry, music memorabilia everywhere. They've got a little gift shop, you can buy yourself a t-shirt and uh, they also have concerts there as well, comedians. Um, looks like tonight is Pat Benatar and I can't see the sign who else is there. But anyway, I haven't been to a concert here. I don't think it's, um, it's like a huge venue, but it's um, probably like the House of Blues, which is in downtown Disney or, or Disney Springs as they call it now. But they have some good, um, some good events going on at the Hard Rock cafe. So here we are at Tooth and waiting for our food. It's actually really nice sitting out here today. There's no humidity, there's a light breeze. But as you can see, um, if you want to sit outside and people watch, Toothsome Chocolate Emporium is a good place to come. You walk across that bridge and you come to the entrance of Islands of Adventure. And just through there, under that canopy, is where you get your tickets and go into the main entrance. is the area of City Walk that comes alive at night. It's two o'clock in the afternoon, so it's very quiet here at the moment. Most of the restaurants on this end, in this quiet corner, are not open during the day. I think a lot of them don't open till 4 p.m., but don't quote me on that. But this is where there's some restaurants, there's nightclubs, a great Mexican restaurant. I, I mean, I don't I haven't been here at night, so I wouldn't really know. But anyway, you can just see that it's pretty quiet during the day.
car, had a nice meal and now we're going off to pick our other car up from the dealership so leaving everyone here to enjoy the rest of their day. My top tip is when you have parked in any of the theme parks, whether you're parking at City, City Walk or you're down in any of the Disney parks, is take a picture of the row that you are parked in and the area. So we are in Spider-Man today, which is the first time we've ever parked in Spider-Man, but um, I always take a picture with my phone so that I don't forget where I've parked because after a whole day at the parks or a whole day around City Walk, you might forget where you've parked and that will ruin your day. So take a picture of where you've parked and then you'll have it there and you won't need to worry about it. <laughs> 